Hi, this is Pete with ECS Tuning, and today we're going to show you how to install brand new ECS Tuning Turbo Muffler Delete Mark 7 GTI. This install can be completed with simple hand tools. The only thing that might be specialty as compared to your basic toolkit is a T30 bit and a 4mm hex key. Step one in this process will be removing your intake. Common practice is to install a rag into a turbo to avoid dropping debris or fasteners in. We will not be doing that for video purposes. Next step, we'll be getting this charge pipe out of the way. First step will be to release the harnesses from the charge pipe. Take your T30 bit, loosen your mounting bolt. Our car has already been equipped with ECS silicone charge hoses, so you'll use an 11 millimeter socket to release the T-bolts, slide off, and then you will just basically wiggle your charge pipe loose. Next step is to remove the remaining T-bolt clamp. And then Pull the turbo coupler off. That right there is your turbo muffler that we're going to be replacing. The turbo muffler is held on with three bolts. These are where you use your four millimeter Allen. They're not exactly the easiest to get to, so you might need to use a variety of extensions. After you've removed the three bolts, slide out your turbo muffler. Be aware, there is a gasket that might stay affixed to the turbo. As you can see, we have the stock turbo muffler. The slotted design is what works as a muffler. DCS unit, smooth bore design, allows for less turbulence, and also allows all those good noises of the turbo to come out. Now we're ready to install the ECS tuning turbo muffler delete. Make sure the O-ring in the kit is installed in the end of the muffler adapter. Make sure the factory O-ring is still in place on the outlet of the turbo. Slide the adapter into the turbo. Reinstall your three factory fasteners. Install your outlet hose. Tighten your clamp. Slide your charge pipe. Onto the other end of that outlet hose and tighten up your final hose clamp. Next step is to reattach our charge pipe fastener. Then clip your electrical harness back in place and finally reinstall your intake. Hope this video was informative. If you have any other questions on this or any other ECS product, click on the link below or visit us at ecstuning.com.